know some of that. So what we're trying to do is, uh, for those that are listening, Rick, KC2, ESD, and myself are trying to make it easier for all of you with your time availability to listen to the educational presentations that I do on the net. So what Rick does is uh, Rick has, uh, he volunteers his time uh, through uh, a production company. He has Skull Bay Productions to uh, be able to place my educational uh, information uh, on YouTube. And that's just to bring people into the hobby and to get them motivated about scanning. You know, we do this because we love scanning and for no other reason. So at any point in time you want to see the videos that Rick does, you can go to www.youtube.com and type in the word DSTAR, D-S-P-A-R, one word in the word scanner, DSTAR space scanner. Now, what I've done is I've taken some time uh, because I'm learning WordPress, which is uh, a great uh, website building tool. I have launched a brand new website called WX480X.com. And WX480X.com is the home of the D-Star Radio Scanning Net. That's the purpose uh, of it. Now, you will see links on the brand new design uh, website I've just created, uh, the homepage uh, about me, WX480X, if you care to know my bio, a link for the D-Star Radio Scanning Net, a blog, which I keep, which will be news, any uh, articles that I write about radio scanning or resources, there's a link for Ham Nation, which is the other net that I do here on Tuesday nights after the Ham Nation show, because I run uh, actually two nets here on the Papa System. Our net sponsor, which is the Papa System, and podcast. When you go to the podcast link, uh, you will see uh, on the very bottom the DSRS net podcast. And being that it only you know works out well that I do professional voiceover for a living, I have the audio equipment to be able to pop out a podcast. Why not? I have the equipment and it helps you guys out. So the bottom line is if you're not able to listen to the D-Star Radio Scanning Net because of a conflict, you can always go to the website, WX4ADX.com, to the podcast tab and listen to the podcast to be educated on radio scanning. And it's just a way to further uh, enhance the radio scanning hobby and share with people, again, that it's a great hobby like ham radio to be a part of. So that's the announcement that I wanted to make regarding that, and then we'll start the educational presentation uh, here that will be uh, recorded for YouTube in a moment. Camera, Camera rolling action, KC2ASD. Hello, this is Rick Casey. Good evening and welcome to the D-Star Radio Scanning Net educational presentation. Today is Sunday, September 25th, 2011. Welcome to Volume 2, Edition 4 of the D-Star Radio Scanning Net. Tonight we're going to be talking about the topic in our educational presentation of the future of radio scanning. This syllabus can be found on my website at www.wx4adx.com and please take a look at the blog link. That's wx4adx.com. Now we're going to talk about the future of radio scanning. All right, WX4ADX with a D-Star radio scanning net. If we could look into a crystal ball regarding the future of radio scanning, I believe that we would discover a handheld device which was capable of receiving both RF and feed-based transmissions. As a comparative, think of a receiver capable of monitoring terrestrial FM broadcast as well as satellite radio. An example of that would be Sirius XM. Many of you may be familiar with apps or applications which are available for and downloaded on your smartphone, such as an iPhone or Android device. One app that you may not be familiar with, which is capable of monitoring several feeds at once, is called Action Scanner. And you'll actually see that hyperlink on uh, my website. And it's at teenysoftware.net forward slash scanner.html. Now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, that app specifically. Uh, I use it every day. I love it. It's one of my favorite apps. I have it in uh, my iPad. I also have it in my iPhone. Action Scanner lets users scan through their choice of police, 
fire, EMS, and other feeds from around the country. Streaming audio scanning feeds can be exciting, but when there's a lapse in the action, things get boring very quickly. Unlike similar products, Action Scanner scans through up to four feeds at a time. The app will stop on a feed when there is a transmission present, well, short of like a real radio scanner. Now you don't have to miss any of the action being it next door or across the country. Let's take a look at the features of the app. Now, with Action Scanner, here are the features. You have over 2,500 stations currently available to monitor, and the list is growing daily. You can scan up to four stations at once over Wi-Fi or 3G. A scan indicator lets, uh, shows which station is being currently uh, scanned or is playing. Independent control of volume and squelch for each station. Last contact date and time tracked for each station. Your device will not go into the sleep mode while the app is running. And you can turn your screen off and keep scanning uh, for better battery life. Now let's take a look at computer programs next. WX4 ADX, your net founder and net control, the D-Star radio scanning net. And tonight in our educational presentation, we're talking about the future of radio scanning. Now, part two. We're going to talk specifically about computer programs. One amazing monitoring program that I use every day that enables your scanner uh, to monitor, in this case, your computer to monitor multiple feeds at once is called Scanner Live. And with uh, WX480X.com on my blog, where I'm reading from, you'll actually see uh, the hyperlink for Scanner Live. It's at scannerlive.skywatch.org. That's scannerlive.skywatch.org. Now, the features of Scanner Live is a computer program. You can select multiple online feeds at once, uh, and you can specifically monitor up to 10 per bank. So that's multiple online feeds to monitor up to 10, which really makes it a really cool part of this computer program is the up to 10 per bank. Save your layout in up to 10 banks total which means you have 10 feeds per bank times 10 banks, which could be 100 total feeds. Monitor all feeds in a bank, and if audio is heard on one of the feeds, it will mute the others. You have a selectable delay and priority settings, the ability to change the volume settings individually, and you have an audio meter that, um, that is active on all feeds even when they're muted. A temporary lockout of a feed and a manual hold on a feed, and you can actually manually hold on a feed until uh, pressing scan again. And uh, I can't say enough about this app, specifically, it, it's a radio program. Uh, and uh, if you enjoy radio scanning like I do, and again, you always wanted to hear the action going from you know, around the country or around the world, this is an amazing program for radio scanning. WX480X continuing on with the educational portion of the D-Star radio scanning net. Now, I strongly believe that the future of radio scanning will involve the monitoring of feed-based transmissions from all around the world, rather than just your local community. And why I feel that way is because given the changes in our economy, and for enthusiasts to be able to afford a $500 Project 25 scanner, and agencies choosing encryption for privacy and liability purposes, and given the fact that there is, you know, so much time of the day to radio scan, feed-based transmissions will be a large part of the future of radio scanning. Uh, that will conclude uh, the educational presentation of the D-Star Radio Scanning Net. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions at any time, please feel free to email me Joe at WX4ADX.com. And again, the syllabus from this presentation can be found uh, on my website at WX4ADX.com under the blog portion. And there's also a podcast tab that if you'd like to be able to share this information with your friends, they can click on the podcast link and enjoy the same presentation as well. Have a great week, 7-3.